Ladies and gentlemen, I'm GC Smith and welcome back to Sunburn Isles. This is the adventure map by Vect, which has been very painful, and we're now beginning our fifth adventure into the world to gather items and complete the victory monument. Are we ready to go? I think we are. And yes, again, I am live streaming. I think I'll probably end up live streaming all of this adventure map most likely. So shall we go? Oh, uh, yes, you might notice this room looks a bit more snazzy. I put up all the pictures I stole from the uh, part four, the dungeon, you know, dungeon three. Put all the pictures, and I've increased the enchanting table a bit. So, actually, let's see if we've got enough to enchant a helmet. Because I like enchanting helmets with water breathing. And, no, I need a few more experience before I'm actually able to enchant my helmet now. So, there's a problem. So, shall we go out into the world? And, ooh, his teeth have regrown. That's quite interesting. He seems to be, uh, whoa, what's this? Um, okay. He seems to have, what, hands? As well as those regrown teeth. And what are these? What are these over here? I wonder what these could possibly be. I really do wonder what these could be. Are they feet? Are they feet for him? Wow, so... At least we know there's a lot more to him than just his head. So he's, uh, the Skull King has feet, it seems. Um, that's interesting. Well, at least he's a good guy. Wow. Oh, it's very nice to see. Oh, well. At least it, at least we're seeing the effect that the, um, the, uh, uh, increasing the victory monuments having. Wow, this is a really well-made adventure map. I didn't even know you could have that, that kind of thing happen without mods. I thought you'd have to, like, you know, build it yourself, but apparently it seems to be growing. Wow, that's interesting. All on its own. Very spooky. <gasps> that is actually rather spooky. Ah. <laughs> and this is a single player map as well on my computer. Ah. I wonder what's happening. Anyway, um, I did some research and searching around uh, earlier. And I did find where Dungeon 4 is. So we're going to go over here to Dungeon 4. I'm fully prepared with all my items, as you can see. Uh, extra sword. Put that there so it breaks quickly. Uh arrows, ladder, everything I need to kind of adventure into the unknown dungeons. So, uh, shall we get going? Ooh, there seems to be zombies under here. And this is the entrance I've found. Dungeon 4, the hidden leaf. Because it was hidden behind one of these that, in leaves. And it has leaves. Actually, with a name like Hidden Leaf, do you reckon there might be something behind these leaves? I do. I understand that... Well, I still think there might be something around here. Let's have a quick look. I wouldn't put past Vec to hide something in the ground right outside the dungeon. That, because I know that would be the, uh, s s intelligent sp you know, here you go, <laughs> have some diamond right outside the dungeon entrance. But apparently no, he was kind, he wasn't that sneaky this time, so. I'm starting to learn from Vec, you know, play through. I'm, unlike some YouTubers, I try to learn from my mistakes. I'm just have a look under here. Okay. What do you mean don't destroy the map? I'm not destroying the map. And it's a super hostile map. You're allowed, it's... There's a super hostile map. It's designed so you, like, you know, you chop things down, gather items. That's the intention behind it. Look, I have to destroy. Look. See, look, I have to. What do you mean it's not? You realize super hostile maps, you're just look, I have to destroy this tree to get through to the dungeon, right? So I'm meant to destroy it. And if I wasn't allowed to destroy anything on the map, well, I wasn't. And also, he places iron and stuff for you to use. You know, and it also says, you know, if you're going to play a survival mod, ooh, diamond hoe. Why does he keep giving me hoes? There's no seeds. Duh. Ah, that's going to be annoying. Or it would be if we didn't have a pick. It really does inconvenience you when you try when you try to. Uh, what's behind here? 
I can't be what peace and hippie. You know, I like destroying trees. There's nothing wrong with it. Ah, uh, ha, 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 I guarantee you. Ah, oh, that's a sneaky trick. I guarantee you there'll be some people that thought they'd have to burn it, so they'd burn it and go, "Oh, we're going down." But no. Fool, fools, you fools! You do not burn that which you can chop. By the way, I'm not just going to mine through the dungeon wall because, well, that would defeat the point of doing dungeon. But if I have, you know, if there's what I think hidden items around, then I'll do it. What? Yeah, I'm not swampy. And stop comparing. This isn't. This isn't Simon and Lewis. Yes, they're British and they do Yogg's cast, uh, Minecraft stuff. But my main focus isn't Minecraft. That's like that that main focus of their channel until Guild Wars. But, you know, I want to do loads of other games as well, so. Burn, you spiders, burn! This dungeon's actually not too bad. Dungeon dungeon 4 doesn't seem such a bad dungeon compared to the other dungeons. It's just spiders, and, I, you know, I don't mind them. They're not creepers, they don't blow up. Although it does lead to interesting pathway. There's probably a spider spawner under there. Okay, so we got the wall. That dungeon wasn't too bad. But there seems to be a way to continue forward, so I assume that's meant to show us where you know one of the other dungeons, so we're gonna go down here. I am putting torches up, don't worry. Um I gotta love how he's made it so spiders can get out, but not the zombies and skeletons that will spawn. Because it's dark. Not bad for us, I guess. Let's put... Let's what, see what's through here, shall we? Oh, way out. That's nice. Oh, another chest as well. Because I guarantee you there'll be people that go, oh, the dungeon ends here. Well, no, did you not learn from the very beginning? You have to dig through the, you know, the, the leaves to find things. And look, you come out here and find another chest. Dynamic exit with a boat. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to have diamond in it to help complete the diamond thing. Get in boat underwater. Rapid ascend. Come on. Damn you, ledge. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, was that a chest? I have no idea what that was. I think I may have missed the chest there. But. Okay, so this this episode started well. We got a new uh, we got a new dungeon, a uh, new cloth. Um, that wasn't too bad. I don't understand why people, you know, people on the live stream. I don't understand why you'd hate spiders more than creepers. Creepers blow everything up. It's really annoying. I can deal with spiders. Anyway, let's get through here. Return and put the uh, prize back, and then go and try and do dungeon five. Uh, a dungeon we have previously caused damage to when we actually went into it at the very beginning of the series, I guess. So, that seems to be like a zombie corner. Put one of you up there, because I don't know. So, right, let's suppose it's light blue. So now we need to go and get a yellow wall. I'm going to go and get that. Oh wow, that iron sword's already nearly broken. Uh, we're going to go and build another iron sword then, I guess. To keep, so we always have like a full spare one. And one broken spare one. Uh, put that there. And doo -doo -doo. <laughs> so let's I the sword enchanted. Uh, I want to get. What can I do? I need to get level eight. Shop. Oh come on, come on! Wow, really, really eight levels. Oh. Okay. Thought things were starting to go my way, and he goes, no. 
well, I, I guess it wasn't Vet that did that, but still, the game starts going my way and it goes, nope, you're, you're, it's not going your way. But at least I've got my swift boat. <laughs> fear me, almighty, what, but fear me, creeper. Fear your doom. So we're going to go around to Dungeon 5 and see how far we can get in that in this what, episode as well, we think. So next time, if I can get an iron sword that doesn't die in the first part of the dungeon, we'll... Uh, We'll go through and we'll try if we can get a diamond sword that survives. Uh, we can go through and... Oh yeah, there's some damage done to my little house. Poor house. Uh, hopefully I can damage... I want to enchant my helm, see if I can get the underwater breathing thing. The thing that helps you underwater breathing, see if I can go to those underwater chests he's got dotted around and survive. And then I'll find... Oh, wait, let's go over here. Dungeon 5, I think, is over here. And apparently that's Dungeon 6 up there, I'm not sure, but that might be Dungeon 7, if not. Hopefully at this dungeon it'll point to where the next dungeon is, otherwise, uh, well, it hits a lot for one video anyway to get two dungeons done. And so if I'm surprised that dun that dungeon was so easy after the difficulties of Dungeon 2 and 3. So that was interesting, although the entrance does seem to be well guarded by the Sand King. I thought the Sand key King was getting weak and it was just, nope, I'm preparing my forces. Ha! Ah. Okay. And the zombie ran off the island to flee me. Flee! Yeah, that's some of the damage that happened to the entrance, as you can see. Uh, okay. Yeah, there was a lot of damage done in this dungeon. Uh, let's put some sand down for this hole. And let's carry on our way. And one of the things I brought ladders for is because, well, pretty much there's not any safe way down here now. So we can do slowly descend while laying ladders below us. Like a well-prepared adventurer. And no, I'm not playing on the Technic pack, and I've never really played... Well, I've played, like, the single-player version once before. And... Wow! Okay! The hitting me in mid-air apparently not reduced my fall damage. That was interesting. And now that I've... Oh, oh, I need to put the torches back in. Deactivate the spawners. Okay, so this dungeon's going a bit better now that we're well prepared. You know, it seems to be this, uh, the message of Vex survival maps, or, you know, Super Hostile is, be prepared and you won't fail. It's not like a normal map where you can just go in, you know, wearing whatever gear you want and hope to succeed. You need to be wearing gear designed for it. So we're not doing too badly here, I don't think. Let's go up here. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? There is a chest up here. Wow, that's a nice chest. <laughs> that's not a bad chest. Oh, <laughs> gives us a ladder to a place. It's some glass. It's a rather nice chest we've got there. Well, that widened the corridor. <laughs> That's one way to get a bigger corridor, I guess. It's oh, a hole. Oh, it's that hole. Oh, okay, yeah, because we... Damn you. Die, die, you are Ah, die! Die! People may ask, why aren't I destroying the spawners? Well, I don't know. 
And I've already answered... Oh, how long have I been playing Minecraft? Um... Don't know. And I've already answered about Technic Pack. No, I don't. I, I've only ever played, like, a single player. I've never played one player stuff like that. So... Oh, CD. One of the skeletons killed a creeper for me. That's nice. Uh, oh, spider spawners. Um, Minecraft? I don't know. Not, I guess not amazingly long, but not too short either. No. Find somewhere to go down here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's some sort of creeper spawner down here. I think. Oh, damn you, spiders! Sand King, your forces are no match for me! Stop being stupid. Realise you've lost and surrender already. Right. Aha! Your wall is mine! And I think... Is that a way out there behind it? I think it might be. Or it might not be. No. Is that? No, what is it? Uh... No, it's just so slight. Cool. Well, we're not doing too bad. Oh. Creepers. Damn you. Damn you, creeper. I see you, creeper. Alright. Um. Right, now where's the way out? Oh. I love this dungeon. If you, By the way, if you came to this dungeon without ladders, you're screwed. Luckily, I did come with ladders. But... Well, okay, fair enough. You could theoretically, yeah, you could mine up, but that's clearly not the intention of these dungeons. Love it. They can't get to me because they're all too busy trying to. Get out of here! Damn, leave me alone! No, damn you! Ugh. Just get another sword going uh, ready. Right, so I need to go down there, pick up my items. Pick up my items. Uh... Well, I said that it was going well, and I had got the wall, but then my sword broke and didn't have time to switch to new sword. Um, so that's what happens when you don't light the area fully, I guess. That was my fault. I probably should have lit it a bit better. Let's go back and get there in time. We just need to get there before the uh, stuff runs out, obviously. The, the items despawn, which is about five minutes. We've got time. But anyway, at least we got one dungeon done successfully in this, in this episode, so... <laughs> oh, live streamers, you crack me up. Let's get going. Let's get going. In fact, for YouTubers, I'll cut to when I get to the island, because there's no point in you just watching me swim there. Okay, so we're on the island now, so we can go down into the instance and try and reclaim our items. Although, it seems the Sand King, the evil git, has prepared his one skeleton guard think that would enough to be, which it almost is enough to deal with me without my armour. Damn you, Skeleton King. Damn you. No. Sand King, sorry. Uh, I might need to wait for my health to regenerate. Uh, actually, what I can do just for this once is because, well, I'm a cheap... No, I'm, the, I'm a lazy git and I don't want to wait ages for my health to regenerate to survive the fall. I mean, this isn't a very effective way to get in, because how do you get back out? You know, you have to build it up. Or if you die, well, if you dig all the wall away, well, you haven't nowhere to get down to. But... So I just need to go and sprint around the rooms and find my items. Again. Damn you. Get away! There we are. There's my items. Oh, a creeper could spawn and kill me. 
Oh, it's going to be one of those episodes again, isn't it? Where I lose all my well-prepared prepared items. You know, I said preparation was key. And I thought you were on my sign, Skull King. You, you're getting more powerful, is that it? You just don't care about me anymore. You got your feet, you got your hands. You, you still need arms, mate. You still need me to get the wool for your arms, don't you? You still need to build stuff, don't you? Oh, come on. Come on. Well, I guess I will cut out this uh, swim again. So, we've made it back to the island for the third time today. Uh, well, second after my second death. Let's go down and hopefully actually get my items back and leave because I do not want to see this place again. Right, come on. I probably should have put a torch up here, but no matter. Uh, let's go down here. Okay. No! 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 Damn you! Um, this is going to take a while. Um, uh, so what we might do is... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What I'll do is I'll probably uh, cut out all of the deaths and cut it to when I actually get the water. <laughs> you know, or maybe I'll just cut out all the island runs and keep doing it until I get the island or, you know, cut all the deaths I think are useless because there's no point just showing you YouTubers, everyone, uh, just endless waves of deaths. Well, actually, you might want to see them, so keep me, but I'll cut this run out to the island anyway. So we're at almost at the island again for the fourth time. Third death. Spiders, creepers, skeletons. Oh my! Needing to... Basically, what I need to happen is not fall off the ladder and jump off an opportune point where I can actually sprint to my items. The only problem is, is the amount of flipping creepers that spawn. Skeletons and spiders, I reckon I could just about survive. And, ah, great, it's night time. Damn. Damn. So, by if... Right, so let's go start going by doing that ladder. Right, let's go down the ladder. Oh, okay. Damn you, damn you! Yes, okay, so, by the looks of it, I'm not going to get my items back, so. Bye bye, plate leg. Uh, diamond leggings that I found in a chest. Right, it's a sword. Helm. Chest. And. Legs. And feet. Put that on there. Put that there. Uh, uh, sorry. I'm going gonna, gonna to come up with a pattern that gives you. Right, so you want the helm. Legs. No, feet, sorry. Uh, chest. That's what you do. Oh, you want another one there. And another one there, and one there. Oh, I'll go, let's go over to my other home. I need some more for the chest. Go into my home and try and get some wood. Actually, I'll sleep for the night quickly. I don't want to accompany loads of zombies and stuff. Hey, right, come on, come on. Oh, I love it when things don't die because they're in water. Oh, well, at least Endermen do die in water. Anyway, let's get going back to the island uh, for the sixth time. See if I have any wood. Yes. Oh, I can make a wood pick as well, I guess. Uh, 
Let's look at wood, uh, iron sword. Now, if by some miracle our items are there, well, my items are there, but I'm not going to count on it. Come on, already? Down you stay. Down you stay. Oh, duh. Come on, Sand King. Give me a break. Uh, maybe, I may be working for the Skull King, but you don't have to f try and kill me and kick me while I'm down. Alright. Flee! Oh, and, and while we're doing this quick thing, this one run that, water run that you will be seeing, because I want to talk about something... Um, for those of you who don't know, Minecraft.com, not necessarily that I'd be going, but there are people of you that might be interesting. Minecon will be in, um, Europe this year, not America. So that'll be interesting for some people, I guess. Anyway, let's get to the island. Hope that my items are there, beyond all hope. And hope there's actually a way for me... Oh, I, didn't... I made two chests and not a pair of legs. Fail! Oh, well. That's my fault. Onwards, peg onwards, pony for ponydom. For ponydom. See if I guess it's hard to get a pair of iron legs that fit a horse. Guess it's hard to get an iron chest to be fair as well, actually. Helm and feet, uh, not so much. Oh my lucky, welcome to the stream. And onwards for pony. For, in the words of a great evil warlock called Richard, for Pony! We will get your wool for the Pony and for the Skull King! Rawr, you die, scum, now! Uh, I've never heard of a Sand King in Yogg's cast, so I have no idea. Oh, wow. Why am, I, why am I not taking full damage? I have no idea. Okay. Oh. I think this dungeon might be getting beyond the realm of ridiculous now. Yeah, this... How am I meant to do this dungeon? Just how? How am I meant to do it? Right. There's one way. There is only one way. If I've actually got the items. <laughs> Mine will be the explosions. Right, so we need stick. Stone. Oh, is that sandstone? We need to go and gather a little stand. Oh, we got bows, but no arrows. Golden sword for the sake of it. Oh, a pair of iron leggings. Wow, I actually got one now. <laughs> Let's make a level armor because the iron's going to run out far too quick if I keep doing that. So let's get this on. Full pony! And R not, I, I'm not great, so. I don't know what you're. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking of, R not. I'm not great. But anyway, let's get going! Woo! In fact, actually, what I will do is. Um, cut this here for people on YouTube and I will continue in the next episode uh, because well there's only so much dying in one episode I can take and because well I think here's a nice point to finish it off so for you people watching on YouTube I'll see you next time